Over on my Instagram channel, I've gotten a lot of questions about getting SDR++ running on Android. Now, SDR++ is a beta program. It's in a kind of tech preview state, and the Android public pre-release was issued, I think, back in March. And I'll put a link to this page here which has all the download instructions and what you need to do to get this thing sideloaded. But you have to download the APK and then manually install it. And you may need to go into your developer options to allow that to work. But a couple of things you'll notice once you have it installed and running is the menu is very small. It's very difficult to read. And that's because of the high DPI scaling. So the first thing we need to do is try and click until you get this scroll bar. Once you can latch onto that scroll bar, go towards the bottom and find your display options. And there you can adjust your high DPI scaling to 200%. And it will say restart is required. Uh, it didn't quite take. That's 300. This interface is so hard to use. There we go, 200. And you'll see it says restart required. So we'll go ahead and relaunch the app. The next thing you'll see is the menu is all scrunched over still. So we need to come over here and click on the separator bar. And again, you may need to take a couple of tries at that and slide it over to the right a bit to expand the menu out. Now you can actually make use of the menu. You can see our various uh, modulation schemes and all that. Sorry, I drew a blank there. The other problem is once you plug in your SDR receiver, the RTL SDR driver is going to launch usually some other program. I've got SDR Touch installed and that's the default app. So we have to stop receiving with the power button, make sure that it's not doing anything in the background, and then kill that app as well. And we're going to go ahead and kill RTL, or I'm sorry, SDR++ while we're at it. Now when we, we start, it says allow SDR++ to access the adapter. So now we've given it access. And you can see the source here is RTL SDR, but it's still not showing up in the device list. And that's because we just granted it access. And for whatever reason, it hasn't refreshed its device list. So we'll kill it one more time and... We should see, there it is, RTL SDR dongle USB there in the device list. So now that that's showing up, we should be able to hit play and get SDR. Now we can actually start tuning around and doing the work. The other thing is I found that when I'm navigating SDR++, it's really better to use it in widescreen landscape mode like this because the menu is easier to see and use. And you can click this button here to get the menu out of the way so you've got the full spectrum waterfall diagram. And it does work okay in portrait mode. Sorry, I can't really show it where I'm at. But uh, the menu seems to work a lot better when you're in widescreen mode. Anyhow, that's how you get SDR++ working on Android. I'll put a link to the GitHub discussion in my YouTube description. Thanks for watching.